All right, so resource regression. Uh, plain and simple resource regression is a lack of respect that the dog has for the owner. Number one thing is respect. We'll run into problems as dog owners if we don't understand that. <clears throat> Number one thing that you need from your dog is respect. Otherwise, they're going to do things or they're going to feel free to do things that can be disrespectful. So when a dog comes in to my kennel with resource aggression, I can approach it two ways, directly and indirectly. I think the indirect way is the most important. The direct way is just going after the resource aggression, uh, going head on to resource aggression. So the direct way would be to solve the resource aggression problem, but that's usually not what you can just focus on. The indirect way is to get respect without the resource aggression, without the resource that the dog can be aggressive um, with. So, evaluate that. How much does your dog actually listen to you? How much, how many times can your dog not listen to you? If you have, if you find that your dog is not listening to you in many different areas, then again, you are more inclined, you're leaving the door wide open for resource aggression to manifest. And so, it's more important, I don't want to say more important, just as, if not more, important to cover all your bases. That's the safer way, too. Safer way, because you don't have to deal with the attitude, um, you don't have to deal with their attitude directly. So if I'm a dog trainer and I'm training this resource aggressive dog, it would be not smart of me to go to someone's house and try and take a bone away from the dog. That's what I mean by direct, directly uh, taking the issue head on. Because it's dangerous and can also be traumatic for the dog. And so, yeah, there's a safety thing involved with that. So, but the indirect way would be, how does the dog jump on you? Does the dog bark? Does the dog pull on leash? Does, not, the, the, does the dog come when called? Can the dog sit for grooming? Nails, bath, ears, just general animal husbandry. Those are the indirect ways that you can solve, help solve. So when dogs come to me, I tend to go that route first. Because again, the more the dog gets to know me, the more the dog knows that I'm not to be disrespected and I am consistent with what I want from the dog. Then by the time we get to that resource aggression issue, they, they don't even go, they don't think it's okay to then um, be disrespectful to me. So I don't like to give advice about directly fixing aggression. It never is about that, even though that's the area that could cause harm, it's never just that area that we need to become aware of. So that's that. I mean, there's, I'll, I'll, I'll go into it a little bit more. But um, that's kind of like the general deal. We'll get to more specific stuff. Um, you can practice the direct approach with a lesser value resource. So if the dog really likes chew bones and it's getting stingy over those, 
then practice getting respect from the dog using a tennis ball or something else it values but not as much like a toy uh, find out there's levels of I want this you know what I'm saying so um, yeah that's as far as I'll go as far as how to get it done If you want to learn how to get it done, book a session. Anywho, okay, we got somebody who asked a question. I foster a lot and have had to euthanize a loss of opso after paying a trainer a thousand for 30 days training. Pit bulls have never been an issue. Some dogs are just wired wrong and can't be fixed. Uh, that's a tough question I don't like that word fixed because fixed suggests that every dog can get to the same level and that's not a, a good l measurement of success Fixed is weird for me, but um, I will agree that there are some genetically tougher dogs than others, for sure. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. All right, I'm going to get off because I answered the question of resource aggression. I'm going to post this video in the the little saved video so people can go back and watch it but anytime you guys want me to talk about a topic just dm me and i'll make a quick video of it all right you guys take care have a blessed friday